Two senior leaders in the FDA's Vaccine Review Office are stepping down. Yahoo Finance senior healthcare reporter Anjali Kamlani is here with more on this and the latest on the COVID front. Anjali. That's right, uh, Brian. Well, we found out this morning, or rather, we found out that we have yesterday that two of the top vaccine leaders, uh, vaccine review leaders at the FDA are stepping down, and senior officials have told multiple reporters that it is largely in part to what is being perceived as the White House getting ahead of and putting pressure on the entity to approve not just the vaccine boosters, but also other parts of the vaccine approval process, and also shifting the focus away from the FDA, which is largely in charge of this, to the CDC and the uh, CDC's advisory panel. So a lot of tension there. And this is actually causing some health experts to make comparisons to the Trump administration and the oversight that came and the sort of heavy-handed top-down strategy that came from the White House last year. So really a tough time over there at the FDA. Uh, these two individuals, that's Dr. Marianne Gruber and Philip Kraus, are going to stay on uh, through the end of the booster uh, process, but then after that are stepping down. Uh, meanwhile, we know with Pfizer, uh, we got some reports from an Israel study that said the booster shots have shown some pretty strong efficacy data. Uh, of course, not uh, anything different than what expected, about 70% there. And so that's really good when it comes to the whole discussion of what does that mean for the general population, as we know that the U.S. is studying that, looking at that, and hoping to, within the coming weeks, approve boosters for Americans by September 20th. Back to you. And, and then, Anjali, also um, on the Pfizer and, and Moderna front, a study uh, out of Belgium um, kind of looking at the, the response, the antibody response produced by those two um, main vaccines. What did we learn there? That's right. So interestingly, Moderna showed two times the antibody levels. Now, it's an interesting metric, of course, because you want antibodies to build up at pretty strong levels. But some experts are looking at this in context of the booster shot and what that means, because we've seen conversations about what waning immunity means. There is half of the, uh, maybe not half, but there are certain uh, health experts that look at antibody levels as an indicator of waning immunity, while there's another thought um, within the health community that antibody levels aren't specifically uh, what should be looked at, but rather the memory that is uh, instilled in the body, which is the B and T cells, and how they remember to fight off the disease. So uh, these two trains of thought, of course, are pretty interesting, and we'll see which one sort of wins out, but uh, that sort of plays into uh, what we know and what health experts are looking at when it comes to the need for boosters. Anjali Kamani, thanks so much.